Hey YouTube, what's going on? Big E here. You know, I love video games. I especially love old arcade games. So much so that I've been building an emulation cabinet. But one thing irks me and it probably gets you too. Does anybody remember trigger sticks? You probably remember them just like I do. They were on a bunch of great games. Tron, Discs of Tron, Satan's Hollow, Battlezone, Assault. Hell, even Virtualon used them. And they liked them so much, they used two, hands on. But you run into a dilemma with a control panel layout like that, namely this. You want a nice clean control panel just like mine here, but you don't have the extra space for a trigger stick, or it gets to look like a frickin' arcade factory barfed all over your control panel. So just the same, what's a guy to do? You want to play these old games that you love so much, but you just can't. I mean, it gets frustrating. You can try reaching over with your pinky and hitting the buttons, doing all kinds of other crazy tricks, but it just doesn't work like an old school trigger stick. But I have the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the trigger stick adapter. And what it does is it takes one of these cap fighting sticks here and converts it to a trigger stick with a trigger button and a thumb button. It's actually two separate pieces that I've 3D printed here. As you can see, they're held together by a section of inner tube that's been sliced. A lot of people call these ranger bands. It's basically like a section of an inner tube that you turn into a rubber band. Now that I've removed the inner tube, I can separate it and you can see that in here there's a pinned spot to insert a nice little uh, micro switch and there's a momentary push button switch which is installed in the top. You can drill out the top section of this stick for the purpose of installing your own. I personally like this style that I picked up from Radio Shack. The micro switch I used is sold at Radio Shack as well. I'll be sure to give you the part number for that in the comments section of the video. Attaching the adapter is a simple matter. All you have to do is take the cuff side, place it over the stick, and it snaps in. Once it's been snapped in, you simply take this Velcro strap that's been glued to the inside edge of the bottom of the adapter, wrap it once around the stick, and secure the Velcro. Once your trigger stick's assembled, wiring it's even easier. It's only three wires, one for a ground and one to go to each of your switches. I used spade connections to wire mine up with additional lengths of wire so I could slave it to a pre-existing switch. Of course, you could get a little fancier than this. You could even use a quarter inch or an eighth inch stereo jack that has three different connections on it or some other type of removable connector, wire that into your control panel, and simply plug it in. Well, I hope my nifty little creation helps you out. If you want to try it yourself, feel free. You can download the files from Thingiverse. I'll be sure to put the link in the description of the video down below. Till next time, this is Big E saying take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to go play some Assault.